it's me, your Femble, and today I am going to be doing a test based on a request <laughs> that I got from a commenter on YouTube and they were nice enough to message me the details on Discord, which is Inferno, I think. I think it's Inferno. I am going to be testing what's the best way to shave your arms and legs and get the most smooth and silky and like buttery goodness kind of thing. Because of course, if you're fumble, you don't have to have baby smooth arms and legs, but I feel like definitely it comes with the territory. People at least expect it. So I'm gonna tell you how I learned how to do it myself and some of the techniques I've tried along the way that have really, really helped me personally. <laughs> there are two methods I'm going to be trying today. Number one, boo -boo -boo, a razor. Of course, the most like standard um, thing to shave your arms and legs with. So, but still like absolutely have to try it. And then also a hair removal cream. From this, I'm using maybe the most popular one, which is Nair. We are going to try that out together and see how it goes because I am interested to see which really gets like the smoother um, feel and appearance because I have tried both of them separately in the past, but it has been a really hot minute. So I figured why not try it with you guys too. I also have some methods and techniques for what to do after the shave, lock in that moisture and smoothness and really just give you those like that baby skin just all over. So we're gonna test that today. Speaking of baby, say hello to my baby. I'll get you, and I'll look like a bloody accident. It's hard to film when you have a 20 pound Pomeranian just thumping on you constantly. But I gotta do it. I'm a big boy. <laughs> He's a big boy too, but we'll do it together. Also, sorry for the audio sounding terrible. I am, of course, in a bathroom, um, and so I didn't realize until listening back whoopsie the audio sucks so if you can forgive me for that i would be super duper grateful thank you also also um i will be testing these on my legs i know i said arms and legs but um i do have a burn on my arm and i just don't feel comfy with putting a blade so close to something that tender so um yeah what you're gonna first want to do is get a pretty good dollop of shaving cream then after you've wet your leg a little bit then just do a nice little lather on all the areas which you're going to shave which for me um i usually like to go pretty far down i find that you usually especially if you're like me and you get a little bit of hair near the tips of your toes to you don't need shaving cream but <laughs> um you don't need shaving cream but i feel like it's so can work anyway so once you're all nice you probably don't need this much but um if you want to look like you literally went swimming in icing um, or butter, it looks like butter. If you want to look like you really have an unhealthy obsession with butter. Add butter, 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 add butter. And where it goes, like, there you go. This is just like a good shaving tip in general, not just for your legs, but definitely make sure to go with the grain. Like don't go like this direction because I feel like if you do, it's more prone to accidentally nicking it, um, which you do not want all those yucky cuts because that is no bueno. Make sure to also rinse the blade um, whenever you think that there is, might be a bit too much buildup because the last thing you want to do is accidentally um, get it all like like clogged up and groggy and then um, it just does not shave properly. So that's another very important tip. After you think that it is all shaved and just remove that excess cream, just give it a nice little wipe just to remove any excess. And ta-da! So much smoother. Ooh! Gosh, I definitely rushed it a little bit um, near the end, but I think you definitely get very smooth results. That being said, I usually do cut myself on once or twice on accident. So be careful of that. 
So let's try this bad boy on the other leg. Specifically for this, you need to squeeze the cream into your hand and apply a thick, even layer, and then leave it in for three minutes. Okay, three minutes, not too bad. Let's do that. It does not smell the best. So I have buttered up this leg, and now we just need to wait three minutes, they said. So let's let's wait three minutes and see what happens. A few minutes later. So the time is up. I have a cloth that I've wet it down, nice and rinsed, and now just gently rub it off your skin. Just gently like this. It is all wiped off and actually pretty darn smooth. There is, that being said, a couple spots that aren't as smooth, but I can honestly chop that up to just user error. <laughs> but honestly, what is there is very smooth now, but is it as smooth as this leg? Mm -hmm. Ooh, wait. Mm -hmm. I would say yes. I would say it is about as smooth. Well, I feel like there is still a couple little like hair prickles on this one, but again, user error. So I'm not too sure if it's entirely on my part, um, but they are surprisingly similar. Um, so I would say maybe your preference. Definitely the razor has its pros and cons too. Like um, with a razor, you you, you ha there's a very high chance of cutting yourself, obviously. Um, and then there's also the chance of <laughs> things happening, like I say like nicking a vein or just like, I don't know, making a mess in the shower um, or outside the shower, just in general. You don't want blood anywhere is what I'm saying. So that's a big no-no for the razor. Um, I would say it is about the same time for both. I feel like the razor did take longer though. So the Nair is good if you're in a hurry. That being said though, tingles. There is definitely a weird tingle effect that comes from it, if that's okay with you. And also I do need to rinse my leg off after. Even if I think it's 100% done, I do think it needs a good rinse. If you're not gonna shower, that could be an issue. Overall though, I was really surprised how close they are. I guess it's a tie? I guess it's a tie. Hmm. Two other things that really help get your skin like really, really baby smooth is um, lotion. I know that goes so far, like that goes without saying, but um, honestly, a really good lotion really, really helps just smooth out the skin. And especially after a good shave is like perfect for locking in all that smoothness. I here have a Bath and Body Works one that is all crinkly. Like this is so dry at this point. It's basically SpongeBob. That being said, um, I could not recommend like body butter enough. That helps so much. I don't have any with me, but especially like um, Trader Joe's, they have amazing body butter, especially their pumpkin one. And I'm not just biased because I love Halloween. It smells exactly like autumn. It's amazing and I love, love, love it. Yeah, very, very recommended. Also, I'd recommend cocoa butter, like body oil. This stuff is amazing. Your skin is so smooth and supple. Like it's perfect and I really, really love it. I absolutely, definitely couldn't recommend this boy enough. Also, if you are a not safe for work creator, um, it helps really make you look juicy, if you know what I mean. So very, very, very recommend it. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of about it. <laughs> I know this is a bit different and probably not the best tutorial for this kind of thing, but I thought if I could help you at all, and if you learned anything in this video, that makes me a really happy boy. If you have any recommendations for other like topics like related to not just being a femboy, but just in general, um, I absolutely would love to hear it. I love helping any of you out, like even if it's just like one person. I just want to be as big of a help as I can. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I love you. I love you and I want to rub you too. Okay, bye!